go hustle, welcome to the trap. I can blow a stack, bet I make it back. You can hit my line if you need a track. Can't even talk about the What's going on y'all, it's the Kid J. Nolan here. Now this video is going to be for all my people that would be using Instagram Live right now. However, you probably want to have a better setup. You know what I'm saying? You want to have a little bit more flexibility with the camera as far as like how you make things look, color grading, being able to share your screen. You know what I'm saying? I want to use Instagram for a more informative, more educational type of thing. I don't just want to get on IG Live to try to look cute and shit. You know what I mean? I, I, you know what I mean? But I'm just saying. So for those people that are looking to do more presentation types of IG lives, this video is going to be specifically for you. All right. So today I'm going to talk about Instagram live producer. Okay. And the dope thing about Instagram live producer is they're going to be making it available to where you can go live using your actual computer, right? You're not going to have to be restricted to your phone or your iPad, right? So that's going to open up a lot of doors. It's going to give you a lot more capabilities. And I'm going to give you some other backdoor workarounds that are going to make this even more compelling for some people. Now, I do have to give you a disclaimer. Instagram Live Producer is on a trial basis. It's very much limited access. So only the people probably with like 10,000, 50,000, 30,000, you know, people that have a high traffic and probably are going live very often are going to be the first ones to get ushered into using this program. But pretty soon, I'm quite sure it's going to be made available to a lot more of us, if not all, because... That's just how Instagram is. But let's get into the basics, right? So how will you be able to go live on Instagram using your computer? Well, you're going to have to use streaming software, all right? So Instagram Live Producer will allow you to go live on IG using streaming software such as OBS, Streamlabs, StreamYard, Ecamm Live, and you're going to need a stream key, which Instagram is going to give you. So this is going to allow you to use your traditional phone camera, a DSLR if you have it, um, a more robust webcam, anything that you may have, external microphones, the one in front of me, custom graphics and all of these types of things. So you can make it a lot more engaging, a lot more interactive, and you're not just sitting there like a sitting duck. Now, there's people out there that have been using third party programs like Yellow Duck. You know what I'm saying? I don't really advise you to use that because I also seen people that were using Yellow Duck to go live, uh, had problems logging in and losing their pages temporarily, uh, got kicked off and restricted from Instagram for about 10 to 15 days, some for 30 days. So that may not be the best option for you. You don't really want to play around with that because you may lose your page, you may lose your audience, you may be selling products and things of that nature, that goes down, you're messing up your business, now you're getting evicted. Don't want to play that type of game. Now, as for all things Instagram, you're also going to want to shoot in the 9 by 16 aspect ratio. It's not necessary. You can shoot, you know, in the horizontal orientation as well, but you're going to make sure that you're also in the center of the screen like so, so that if they happen to cut the sides off, you still want to be centered. You still want to be visible and make sure that anything that you're displaying on the screen is also within that range as well. If not, you're going to be doing something that people are going to miss. They're asking questions. They're going to be laughing, you know, so you want to be very careful about how you do this. Now, the easiest way is to just make sure you're shooting naturally in that aspect ratio. But again, it's not required. Unfortunately, all video is going to be rendered out in 720 at about 30 frames per second. They also have 60 frames per second if desired, but who really needs that just to go live? However, I do think that they're going to need to expand this. Like we're in a 4K world. Why is everything going out in 720? Makes no sense to me. And even if you do happen to use 60 frames per second, again, the output is still going to come out at 30. So you might as well just shoot in 30. All right. Now, far as setup, like I said, you're going to be able to use OBS, StreamYard, Streamlabs, Ecams, whatever it is. You're going to need to insert that stream key, right? You're going to get that from Instagram Live Producer. When you log in, you're going to log in from your computer. You're going to hit the plus button. It's going to give you the option to go live and you're going to see they're going to give you a stream key. You're going to copy and paste that stream key into your software and you're going to get to choose whether you want to do practice or or public. You know what I'm saying? If it's practice, then this is just a test run. And if you put it as public, of course, everybody's going to see it. Now you're going to want to watch um, all of the comments and stuff from Instagram live producer. You're not going to want to look at it from the perspective of OBS, 
um, StreamYard, Streamlabs, Ecamm, etc. because the comments are not going to be shown in that software. It's only going to be shown on Instagram Live via your computer. So you're going to want to keep an eye on that. So if people are engaging with you, saying things, uh, complimenting you on how you look or how, how great your information is, you're going to want to be able to respond and interact and engage with those people as well. So that is one piece that is not going to be integrated into your uh, third party software experience. And you'll be able to run it just like you would from your phone. You'll be able to see the comments. You can comment in there. You could pin comments from people that say uh, very important things. Or if you have somebody on your team that puts information on the screen that's valuable and you want to pin it up there, all of those things will be available to you as well. Also going to want to make sure that your live archive is activated so that when you do go live from the third party uh, software, when you're done, if you want to share that to your page or have it available for people to watch, or if you want to just keep it uh, for your own keepsake and you want to download it and upload it elsewhere in the future, make sure that your live archives are activated in your settings on Instagram. You're going to tap on the little three horizontal lines in the right corner of your menu and then tap the archive button. Just have to drop down at the top of the screen and switch from stories archive to live archive, right? And then you'll be able to see your past completed live videos and be able to share to Instagram or download to your device like I said it before. If you want to add a guest to your live, you're not going to be able to do it through Instagram. This is where things get a little bit more tricky, okay? So, if you have like a StreamYard or an Ecamm live, you know what I'm saying? then you're going to have to invite your guests by bringing them backstage through the software. If you've already used StreamYard before, you know you have the green room where people can get their camera set up, they can get their mic set up, but they're not going to be on screen until you bring them on. Very similar process with Ecamm. So when you do that, your guest is going to appear on the screen. However, it's not going to be in tandem with their Instagram. So their Instagram handle is not going to be on the screen. Their page is not going to be notified that they're live with you because they're not actually going live from Instagram. So that's also going to be something that you want to keep an eye out for. Make sure that um, your guests know that they're going to have to direct traffic to your page while they're on live with you because their followers are not going to be notified. It's a little hitch in this system, but as they uh, further integrate all of these things together and try to create a better pathway into creating better lives, IG lives, of course, not your actual life. I'm sure this will be something that they end up uh, finding a better way to execute and also include, you know, what I mean, the actual handles and tags and stuff like that. But it may be a while before they actually do that, because although Instagram is trying to do better, they are always behind the curve because they wait to see somebody else do things first. They should have already been doing this. People were using products that they did not authorize to be used with their uh, product anyway. So they should have been a little bit quicker to the punch, but at least it's available now, right? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. And if this is your first time seeing me on Instagram, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the post notification bell for all updates and I will see you on the next one. If you're into music news, entertainment news, social media breakthroughs, you're going to get that all here on this channel, man. Catch y'all later. Peace.